What if I told you that a new leak account accurately predicted Hisui and Zora and Zoroark and its new typing? We're gonna break down the most recent rumors for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's do it. Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I'm bringing you guys a brand new video today, and today we're diving into the world of Pokemon Legends Arceus rumors and much much more things have been crazy and heating up here in the rumor mill and we've got a lot to talk about in this video we're going to talk about the recent kind of surgence of ball guy leaks and that twitter account we're going to talk about the chinese riddler as well as centro's most recent rumors and leaks and uh, everything in between from what gen 9 could be and much much more this is about to be a crazy video so i hope you guys are excited for it be sure to hit that like button down below and definitely make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and before i go any further i do want to let you guys know this is a rumor based video so please just be mindful that this stuff is not confirmed but rather they are teasers or riddles or rumors and they may or may not come true we're talking about them from a speculation perspective so don't get your hopes too high but I have a good feeling about at least some of this stuff, so I think it's going to be a lot of fun to break down. And before, again, we jump into the meat and potatoes of this one, if you haven't pre-ordered Pokemon Legends Arceus or Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, you can pre-order them through my Best Buy link in the description below. You actually get all the pre-order bonuses with this, so the BDSP double pack gets you this awesome keychain, and you won't miss out on that Manaphy egg, of course. And with Legends Arceus, you get the Kimono Growlithe outfit and the 30 Heavy Ball pack. So support your boy with that Best Buy link in the description below. It helps me out a ton. But let's jump into it because we got a lot to cover in this video. So the first thing I want to talk about is the Ball Guy leak stuff, right? We talked about this in a previous video, but this person has come out with a handful of different things saying, okay, here's the, the rundown on these new Pokemon, these new, new Legendary forms, new Hisuian forms, what the uh, starter evolutions are, and much, much more. They go on to say that there's going to be a, a climbing evolution of Sneasel, which is what the climbing Pokemon was. Again, I, I talked about this in another video, so I'm going to focus on kind of the newer stuff. So their first post is they post this mask and they say black is greater than white. And that was on October 19th. And that was after the initial trailer of the Zora, Zora arc reveal, but when it was all distorted. Now, I will say at that time, I, I was following this very closely. At that time, it was not like confirmed by anyone that it was Zora and Zora arc, right? There was a lot of theories, but, and even in my video, when I first saw it, that was that was a first theory. But they, they very clearly came out with black is greater than white. And then they follow up with it after the reveal and saying dark is greater than ghost. So listen, is this a stretch? Is this an accurate uh, kind of uh, prediction? I don't know for sure, but black is greater than white. Dark is greater than ghost. Oftentimes the dark type is associated with black and the ghost type is associated with white. So the fact that they're basically saying that dark beats ghost or in the case of the old Zoroark beating the new Zoroark because of their typing. So I thought that was pretty interesting. You could also say white is associated with normal. So there's there's some opportunities there for this to be accurate. But the reason why we're bringing this up is because this Bull Guy Leaks account has again, gained a lot of steam in the community. A lot of people are looking at this account assuming it's real or that there's some sort of insider information here and it ties very closely to a lot of the things that eclipse has been saying and eclipse is someone who's gotten a pretty solid reputation in the community right now and there's actually some rumors i wouldn't be surprised eclipse if you're watching this if ball guy leaks is actually eclipse like i'm gonna be real i wouldn't be surprised if they're using a new name to kind of hide their main identity to put out some of this information but ultimately their most recent post is the big thing here they came out last night and said the legends Decidueye is getting a Hisuian form. In fact, all the starters are getting Hisuian forms. They are not going to be new Pokemon. It's not that, you know, Rowlet is going to evolve into Dartrix, which is going to evolve into a new Pokemon, but rather it's going to evolve into a new form. Hisuian Decidueye being grass and fighting type, Hisuian Samurott being water and dark type, and Hisuian Typhlosion being fire and ghost type, stating that the only the final forms are Hisuian and the second stages are normal and there will be more information soon. So again, we'll have to wait and see what that kind of turns into, but I will say we have a full breakdown we're gonna go through here shortly that details all of the different riddles and leaks that we've seen, but I wanted to talk and start this off with the ball guy leaks. Pivoting back to the Hisuian Zora and Zora thing, we've got this kind of image of one of the wardens in the game, and you can see they've got this hairpin in their hair, and you can see that they're also decorated very much so with different Pokemon from the Hisui region. We see Weird Deer on their bracelet, we see the Ursa Ring, and then we see this hairpin, which I honestly think it has some resemblance to Hisui and Zoroark. So I don't know if that was a teaser all along, but I think that now that we have the P two pieces of information, we can kind of connect the dots. And now we're gonna dive into kind of the main part of this video. And this is a post by key underscore inevitable underscore 
5063. And I'm going to put a link to the full post in the description below. But they did a great job of actually breaking this all out and going through all the different kind of riddles and, and, and leaks and rumors and everything else that's going on right now, right? So I'm going to kind of summarize some of their bullet points as we go. But they, they do bring up a lot of good things here. So they go on to say that there's no new forms or evolutions for Gen 4 Pokemon. These are, we're, we're claiming some facts right now, right? We've seen 80% of the original Sinnoh decks in game and there's no new forms. So this is basically saying, hey, listen, any of the new forms we're getting, they're probably not from Gen 4, right? We've seen a lot of Gen 5 representation with these new Hisuian forms and beyond. They go on to say that the regional forms have been from 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 5th gen, specifically 1st and 5th. So there's no Colossian, Alolan, or Galarian native Pokemon that have new forms. So we're going to stick to this pattern until we see something otherwise. There's no regional evolutions. Uh, new evolutions exclusive from a regional form, like Runarigas, Berserker, Mr. Rhyme, so far. Diamond and Pro are the first games to introduce gender-exclusive split evolutions for previous existing Pokemon, so it wouldn't be rare to see new ones which is Gallade and Frostlass. So this is saying like, hey, there could be more gender specific splits. Um, Pokemon already seen in game, can't have Hisuian forms. We generally don't have a, an original form and a new regional form in the same kind of context of the game. So I think that's a fair assumption that we're making right now. And Alpha Pokemon always seem to be the final stage evolutions. So in the context of seeing like Al Alpha Ursaring or one of those kind of yellow aura Pokemon, we can presume they're probably the final evolution of that line and that they're not going to get a new evolution. So that's just kind of laying out some, some information there. Now going to the Chinese Riddler, right? So this is the Chinese Riddler post. They went out and posted all this stuff and, and Centro kind of piggybacked on it. I think a lot of people are thinking that Centro is simply parroting a lot of this information, but they posted three different images. They, they posted this buff uh, kind of girl, they posted this kind of ghosty kimono, and then they uh, posted this moth and the moon, right? And we're thinking that... Um, there, there's a lot of thoughts that all three of these images may actually relate to the Rowlet line, which I had covered in a previous video as well. But rather, we're saying now that this does tie into the idea of the typings that we've seen, which actually this post kind of goes against what we just saw from Ball Guy Leaks, but it's close. The Rowlet being Grass and Fighting, the Cyndaquil being Fire and Ghost, which is the Kimono Ghost, and then Oshawa being Water and Fairy, which is Moon and Moth. But this Ball Guy Leaks is saying that it's Water and Dark, so a little bit different. Um, but again, this is interpretation of these riddles, right? We're looking at these different images that are supposed to be riddlers or riddles and what they actually refer to. And then, after, so that, that's what's going on with the Chinese Riddler. Centro then goes on to post this very big image with what seems to be, what, 12, 12 different images on it, right? You've got the Kimono Girl, you've got the Double Hearts, the Cloud Hearts, you've got, you know, the, the buff Rowlet kind of image. A bunch of different stuff on here and then this person actually took this and broke this all down saying that they believe the kimono ghost refers to Cyndaquil's Evo's typing Zoro and Perona refers to Hisui and Zoroark so that's what the top two characters are Hisui and Zoroark re re reference there now I'll be real I'm not super like keen on all my anime references and stuff like that so I went through this thread I tried to research a little bit about it about what everyone's saying but I'm gonna just trust these speculative posts here of what everyone's trying to put these riddles together and this is where you in the community the adrav army and beyond can give your thoughts right you've got the post right here what do you think these riddles mean uh, do they link to a different form or do they link to a different pokemon or what could these different forms be you guys can let me know your thoughts in the comments as well the double hearts cloud could literally be any cloud related pokemon um when i see clouds i think of altaria that's like the first thing that jumps to mind is altaria but perhaps there's some sort of pair of Pokemon, like a plus one mine inside Pokemon, that that relates to. The old Pokeball, we're thinking that that's got to be a hint towards Hisui and Voltorb and Electrode. We've seen multiple reports or rumors about Hisui and Voltorb and Electrode. Beef Girl refers to Rowlet Evo's typing. Swimsuit Girl, I have nothing to say here. This is Maki from Love Life. Go Google some information. Maybe you can get some clues. And again, there's a nice discussion in the comments about this. And, and maybe you guys know something and have some ideas about this swimsuit girl and what that could be a riddle towards. Then you've got the cactus. The mustache cactus is uh, from the Final Fantasy series. Some people are saying this may be a reference to Pseudo Wudo because of the cartoon design and the pose. Other people are saying it's a cactus. It's got to be Cacturn and, and Cacnea or maybe Maractus. But I tend to think we have to think a little bit more outside of the box. Although Eclipse has been saying that these riddles are fairly easy to solve. Then we've got the snail ring, and a lot of people are thinking that the snail ring may have something to do with Dunsparce. Maybe it has to do with Mad Cargo or Slugma. So a lot of speculation there about those Pokemon. Um, Ball Guy Leaks and Eclipse mention an actual Dunsparce related Pokemon, but the last person says it's Steel type, which makes me think about the drill at the end of their tail. So we'll have to see what's going on with there. We talk about the Moon Moth referring to Oshawott's potential typing. And then you've got this big warship, which, you know, 
this is an interesting one. A lot of people are saying that this big warship is related to Avalog, right? Because it does seem to have ice underneath this big kind of landing pad uh, for planes or whatever. So is this going to be something that's related to Avalog or something else? I mean, to me, that's got to, like, Avalog is by far the first Pokemon that jumps out to me. Then you've got the Retro Manga Panel Girl, uh, which is Mommy from Esper. Mommy, I, I know nothing about this stuff, but maybe it's a, a new Evo or Psychic type form. I'm going to assume the thing in the neck is a Vampire Bite, even though it looks a little like a cut. Split Evo for the Zubat line, original forms for Noibat or Wubat. Um, so we'll have to see exactly what's going on with that. It does seem like there, there's a, like a cut on the neck. So maybe that has something to do with it. And then there's this new bear, right? And, and there was a lot of talk about a potential Ursaring evolution. We're assuming that it's probably not that because of the alpha Pokemon Ursaring. Uh, Ball Guy Leak says it's not an Ursaring evolution, but another bear. So when we think of different bear Pokemon, uh, Beware, Pancham, those are some different bears. Beartic, Munchlax, Snorlax, those are kind of like bears. Uh, so we'll have to see what's going on with this bear uh, kind of riddle, right? So that's, that's the rundown of all this, right? This big post here. Listen, this could be just a bunch of random images put together trying to confuse people, but it seems as though there have been some things that have aligned with this, and we're seeing multiple different sources now coming out and saying similar things. So if that, you know, first top image is a relation to Hisui and Zoro and Zoroark, then we are headed in the right direction, and hopefully we'll get some more clarity soon. This post then goes on to break down some of more Ball Guys leaks, which is the baby riddle. We talked about this in a previous video about which baby Pokemon it could potentially be. And then they go on to say a couple other things about the climbing mount, potentially being Sneasel and stuff like that. So again, a lot to uncover there, a lot of speculation right now, and just a lot of confusion right now about all these different opportunities and what all these things could actually mean heading into Pokemon Legends Arceus. I think the one thing that has me the most excited is the fact that one, we just got a dope new form, which by the way, I'm expecting a new trailer early next week about this because they did not confirm the typing through main social media. It was found through the Japanese website. It's normal ghost, by the way. But I'm expecting some really cool information about Hisui and Zoro and Zoroark coming out next week. So maybe some gameplay or something like that. So I would keep an eye out for that on the channel. So like I said, make sure you're subscribed. But again, a lot of this stuff, we're just kind of speculating. Are these riddles? Are these, you know, real things? I mean, at the end of the day, Ball Guy Leaks is saying, hey, we got these starter evolutions. And how would you feel about Decidueye being grass and fighting and Samurott being water and dark and, and Typhlosion being fire and ghost? I mean, those, those are some pretty cool typings. Uh, Chandelure says hi, but... Those are some pretty cool typing. So that's that for the rumors and riddles, man. I, I don't know what else to tell you about it. There's a lot to, to kind of dive into, but let me know if you guys have any theories about that post and some of these different images that may be teasing at the next possible forms for the uh, Hisuian region. And the last thing I just want to talk about, and again, this is one of those things where, you know, take this with just, you know, a massive grain of salt, right? Because again, these are rumors, but Samus Hunter too is someone who is pretty known to be an insider for Nintendo or has a lot of inside information. And they go on to talk about in this post about the fact that there's a potential new game being developed. And they say that the next Pokemon generation will be released on the Switch and not on the next console. So this is basically talking about if there's gonna be another console of Nintendo game or Nintendo Switch after the Switch and where the Pokemon franchise is gonna land on that. They go to say that the plan is the new Pokemon games are for sure being announced early next year, likely in February, originally planned for late 2022, but it's possible that COVID delayed the game to a similar time frame to Legends, which would push it to, to, to the following kind of, you know, uh, year, 2023. This idea that we are getting a new generation or a new Pokemon game following Legends Arceus next year, end of year 2022, I have such a hard time believing personally because it just sounds crazy to me, but at the same time, I guess it's not that crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm all for it, right? Like, give me Gen 9. Why the heck not? But it just sounds so crazy to me that they would drop a brand new game after Legends Arceus in the same year. I mean, I guess it's possible, man. They, they got to keep the snowball rolling somehow. So who knows, man? Who knows? But that's that. That's what we got for today. So this was a lot to unpack, man. I know it's a lot of kind of random stuff. We're trying to figure out what's real, what's not, what's the riddle, what's the riddle mean? Who even knows? But what we do know is we got, like I said, a dope new Pokemon design in Hisui and Zora and Zoroark and a lot to look forward to for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let me know your thoughts on these riddles. What do you think? You think you got any clues or any secrets? Let me know in the comments section below. Be sure to like the video if you guys enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And that's gonna be that for me, guys. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drive and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.